Look over it. Allow the shit to dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. More <laughs> than cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. I was like, <laughs> see ya. Hey guys, so welcome to the channel. What's going on? <laughs> I Genius deleted. over here deleted our footage from our move. The very, like, the the intro so that you guys knew what was even going on yeah. and the excitement and nervousness of moving I accidentally deleted that footage um, so we wanted to just pop in before we share this moving vlog with you guys and just kind of give you a context of what the heck happened during this move everything that went wrong it's been wild by no means are we complaining we just wanted to share the slip-ups with you guys yeah. and the funny thing is is like we knew that there was gonna be some slip-ups like nothing goes perfectly smooth yeah. for us really well especially in like an RV move and yeah. like we haven't really moved it in a long time and mm -hmm. um, and like also we're trying to park a Cadillac in a dog house you know over at my mom's house this uh, place that we're trying to get through the property is very tight it's so tight very very tight it's like the fence in the house between the house and fence is tight but then further back the house stops and there's the concrete pad which was wide for us so that's why we picked that side of the house because we wanted that concrete pad but yeah. getting back there is so tight which you guys will see in the footage it actually took two days to get it in the spot it took two different people two different trucks um <laughs> hit the roof a few times which you guys will hear in the video yeah. our awning scraped up to the butt of the roof no, no damage no major damage or anything no major damage a little dent we lost a few things we lost on the way was the air condition cover that flew off but i was able to turn around and get it because i was driving behind yep. and then somewhere along the way we lost the cover to the refrigerator I have no idea when it fell couldn't recover that we are officially moved over to my mom's so the rv is officially mm -hmm. in its place and we are getting to work and doing our remodel yep. um we got a long road ahead of us but we're going to be filming it and sharing it with you yep. guys uh it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of stress a lot of headaches so look forward to those vlogs but in the meantime let's get back into this moving vlog i just wanted to give you guys some context and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video is right there we need to get it back all the way to the end of that concrete pad it's a tight fit <laughs> it's a really tight fit but once it gets all the way back then it's fine and it's wide um, it's just getting through the fence to the house it's very tight so that's what we're doing now day two trying to get it all the way back kind of ran into a little issues so day one when we moved it it fit but then we had to scoot it up to get the awning out and it kind of was butting up against the awning was butting up against the roof like the edge of the roof so that was a problem we had to stop what we were doing and get a new situation a new truck um all the good stuff but day two trying to get it back fingers crossed it gets back with no issues and no damage on anything we just need it to go a little bit further so I'm gonna set it up for you guys to kind of cringe with me. Hey. What is that? I 
realized I need to show you guys how tight the fit is so you understand what's going on. That is why it's taking so long. Look at that. But once it gets all the way back, it won't be a problem. It's just getting through that tight spot right there. And then on the other side, there's a slide out and we need that to slide out all the way. So that's another issue because it could hit the fence, the slide out. So that's why this is taking so long and so many tries, but we're gonna get it right. Say? Oh. Like, look at Joey up there. Trimming, the trimming these tree branches. Um, we gotta put the air conditioner back on, but we wanted to trim all those trees. There's quite a bit of them, so it wouldn't get into our air. We lost our refrigerator panel on the way here, so we have to order one. <laughs> but that's not too bad. Yeah, we gotta go to the camping world and get a replacement. Yeah, I want to show you guys what I did. The RV looks crazy because honestly we're destroying it. But it's all cleared out. And I just did the bedroom. I cannot wait. I did, I took this out. This was connected um, here for our bed. And then we took all this stuff out. We're breaking it apart because we're taking all of this out and all of this because it's just, it's useless. My clothes would never hang, they'd touch and get wrinkly, there's not enough space. It makes it feel really small back here. So we're taking all of this out, and then our plan is to put the bed all the way up on this side, um, which will give us some inches, which makes a big difference. And then we're gonna get a mirrored armoire right here to hang our clothes. We typically don't use this door. This is the door, so the armoire can come out really far. We always use the bathroom door to get to the bedroom anyways. So I'm really excited. I think it's gonna look really good. We're obviously gonna paint back here too. So I'm working on this, trying to get this all up by the end of today. I'm a sweaty mess. You guys are gonna see a lot of these renovations me and Joey are doing. Um, we're gonna look super, super sweaty and gross, but it's Florida, it's like 97 today. Um, I have a bathing suit top on so I can get some sun staying hydrated um, Joey's working on this right here he has to reattach the air conditioner because we had to move it for the move um, he already stabbed his eye with the branches so we have some saline solution for that um. we're trying to find something to go eat we're at our new location, so like we haven't been down here in so long. We don't eat down yeah. here. I grew up over here, but like I haven't been over so here. So new though. Now. Yeah, I haven't lived in this area in like 10 years. Yeah. So. We finally got the RV moved to the spot, you guys. Yeah. I wish I could, I wish I, I, I know it's annoying when people are like, I'm so exhausted, that was so hard. <laughs> but I wish people knew that the I wish I could explain the depth of work me and Joey had to do that we were not prepared for. Two people had to move the RV. We have the dogs with the fence, they couldn't get out. So that was the hardest part, is picking up this concrete huge fence, putting it in a hole, taking it out, digging it, putting the dirt back in, doing that, putting it back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth. Yeah, because we had two people with two trucks having to try to get the RV in the right spot. Uh, yeah, because there's like four by four posts that the fence panels you know get nailed to and those have a big old bulb of concrete you know stuck in the ground wasn't that the hardest part oh yeah yeah those things weigh like you know 100 pounds or yeah you know 75 that was the pounds, most challenging part you know and they're big and awkward and then you got the gate that was attached to it and so. then we had to take down fence panels that we weren't prepared we didn't know we needed yeah. to do so we had to take two fence panels down privacy fence privacy yeah. fence we had to do so much other things we lost things on the move things flew off the rv it was just a lot more challenging than what we thought and we always expect that we're always like um you well, know things are gonna not always go sorry we're looking everywhere we're trying there's to find a grain and berry eat. a grain and berry do you want grain and berry um no i was just kind of mentioning it there's i love grain crafty and berry. crab cajun seafood yeah but bar. you don't like that you never um 
Oh my gosh, I love. Okay, I don't want and pita. there's there's that pitas. I don't want pita. Oh, they're building that Aussie grill, babe. Oh, yo, Jets Pizza, babe. Oh wow. Oh, we're fucking going there one Look, day. Look, Aussie grill. We love Aussie grill. This is where Joey and I went to high school. High school. We're parking in the parking lot because we need to look up where to eat, so. Home of the Gaither Cowboys. Oh, wow, this is crazy. We skipped so much, like. Oh, uh, look at that front entrance, bro. Man, this brings back so many memories. I know. The back, the back brings oh, up a lot of memories. Oh, the back parking so that's lot? That's where we would smoke cigarettes. So we skip school. Skip school. So me and Amanda laid on the back of this Ford Ranger. Some random guy's truck just laid in the bed and just laid there for like two hours. I remember walking to Taco Bell from... Oh, hold on. I was walking from Taco Bell from math class right there, Miss Warholic. Warholic. And oh, she, she was, was mean. Going like that and saying, I'm going to call your mom, remember? I was like, <laughs> see ya. She was. I was a really bad, bad, bad kid. Yeah, we both were. We both were bad. But, you know, I feel like bad kids sometimes are just a little lost. Yeah. And I'm not totally, I don't totally love the school system. I yeah. respect teachers besides that one teacher and that other second grade teacher. Yeah, there's a lot of... I don't of, respect those teachers. There's a lot of good teachers, but yeah. there's also some, some bad ones. I had really bad experiences. Like, I had a teacher kick me and call me stupid in second grade, and that really messed with my head. And I lost a lot of respect and trust for teachers that, when that happened. But that's a normal thing to have. Like, of course I'm going to have issues. Right. And then Miss Warholic was just miserable, so... That lady was... Oh my gosh, she was the meanest person ever. Everybody knew... Like, if you got in trouble, oh, other bad. teachers would send you to her classroom mm -hmm. so that she gotcha. would wring your neck. We came to So Fresh and we just ordered our food. Amanda got a skinny bowl with salmon added, and I got a barbecue bowl. Would you add to it? Oh yeah, with uh, I added steak as my protein, so it should be pretty good. Do you think that's about? You can stack them. What? Hi. That's so sketchy. Can we please buy a good tripod for me? Yeah, we need to get like a little one. Oh. Estimated sales tax sixty-two dollars. This is my current coffee obsession. It's a Dopio. Dopio? Am I saying it right? <laughs> I don't think so. Dopey, dope. I don't know. It's Dopio. Dopio? Dope. What is it called? Okay, let's yeah, look it up. I don't know what it's called, but it's someone really told me good, what. Though. Someone said it was like a dopey, dopio. It's double espresso, and then I get toffee nut syrup, no classic, over milk. Um, double espresso, Starbucks. I don't know. It says double shot on ice. It doesn't say a dope. Uh, what is it? A Someone told dopey? me that's what it was called. It D O P I because D O P P on double. Yeah, ice dopio. D O Depi. D O P P I O. What is that? Dope ice dopio. Look it up. Okay, it's a nice dopio. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but whatever. Um, I've been loving it, and I get the toffee nut syrup because it's good, and it's just I will take this that real like sweet flavor because I enjoy this coffee so much. So I don't you know concentrate on the sugar free part of it. Um, I just get the toffee nut because I love it, um, and I enjoy the drink so much more. Yeah, that coffee that she gets is really amazing. It really is. Oh, it's good today. Yeah, it is always good. I need to shake it up. Can you help me with that? Shake, shake. So, shake. got a coffee because I need a second wind. 
So we're gonna do some more pulling out of our closet and wood stuff today in the RV for tonight. We're gonna do it at night when it's cold and cool. Cold? Ha! Huh. Well, I, I stop myself when yeah. it's cool outside. Ah, um, cool. Uh-huh. It's less hot. Yeah, cooler. So, yeah. I want a second wind of energy. You act energy. like it's like nice and refreshing outside. <laughs> Cannon is where me and Joy met. So I showed you guys Gaither, our high school. Yeah. That was middle school when we actually first ever met. That's when I saw that beautiful face and I said, hey girl, you gonna walk me to class? Yep. She says, don't you got a girlfriend to do that? That was the first thing Joey ever said to me. We knew of each, we knew of each other, but we never talked. But I thought she was really pretty and I was a flirt even though yeah, I had a girlfriend, were. so. Everyone in, at middle school in that age, you were really popular too, so. Oh, was I? Yeah, you were popular. Oh, was popular. And I really, I mean, I wasn't really that popular, but I feel like I was known oh, for like being. You were known. <laughs> You were not like a just like bad girl. I was in with all the bad, bad girls. Girl. Anyways, that's where we met is middle school, and then we became best friends and continued yep. our friendship throughout high school. If you don't know our story, she was sassy, boy. Yeah, I was. I still am sassy. Yeah. Um, sassy and sweet, right? Yep. What did you say? Yeah. I feel like I have a good balance like, of the two. Like a sour patch kid. <laughs> First she was sour, then she was sweet. But yeah. Me and Joey were really, truly best friends. We literally we loved each other. We definitely had big crush, flirted, oh, yeah. loved each other. So one, two reasons why nothing happened. One, because I thought he really wasn't serious and I was very insecure and I didn't think he really like liked me like that, even though he said he did. And then two, our friendship meant the world to us. Like we were best friends and I was yeah. like, if we date, we're so young, I don't want to hate each other after we date. So I was like, no, my friendship with him means more. And it honestly really did. It yeah. really did. Yeah, we were super close friends. Gosh, we were, you were the bestest friend ever. So anyways, we became best friends again, dated other people, which I'm so glad we had serious relationships. Yeah. And the first serious relationship I had, I remember I was, I kissed this new guy. I kissed him and I, I felt something, but I was still, I was still oh, the camera. I kissed new. Guy. I kissed new guy, and I felt something, and I was like, okay, this guy wants to date me. I kind of want to date him, but I won't date him if Joey wants to date me again. And this was after high school. So yeah. this, no, no, no. What? It wasn't after no, high school. No, no, oh, yeah, it was no, no. like I was, junior year. I had left. You had school, left, yeah. and I started dating this guy junior year, late junior year, going into senior year. So I called Joey and I'll never forget. I was like, I kissed this guy. I really think there's something there, but I love you. And if you want to date me, you need to tell me now and stop playing games with me or I'm going to date this other guy and you might lose me. And I said, bye Felicia. He did not say that. He said, I no. want you to be happy and I'm not who you deserve to be right now. Like be with right now. I'm not he like yeah. technically weren't good enough he, he felt like yeah. he wasn't was, on the right path we were still friends so like and we were still really close and i knew i knew she liked this guy and yeah. from what i heard from her that he was she thought he was going to be a, a good guy yeah. ready for the commitment that i knew that our relationship was going to be and i think you know joey also had some really good relationships that were pretty serious and i think those were really good to have and learn to be a good yeah. boyfriend to learn what a partner needs and then that all of that learning was like okay wait I've learned a lot like I want to make the right choice and we kind of knew each other where we were always the right choice for each other but we need to experience other things so I'm so happy that we did yeah like um, I I remember and I always tell her like I remember the day that I like looked at her we were uh, uh, you know at that point in time like I looked at her and was like I want to marry her no. or if like for some reason she's not available. available I want someone just like her in a relationship that's just like ours yeah that was the best day that was yeah. such a good day yeah. what other stuff can we tell them about our past about our past yeah I like talking about I know, I do too. <laughs> 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 
you. You've already been in it before. You don't look, don't, don't say you look ugly, that's not nice. I don't even have the earphones on. My beautiful mother-in-law and me are making dinner. That was the studio of Um, oh yeah. Diced potatoes, what did we do, three? Yeah. Three, just <clears throat> russet. Three diced russet potatoes. I can't potatoes. even talk. Dried parsley, oregano, no, dried parsley, grated parm, allspice kind of seasoning. I don't even know what it was called. Air frying chicken. You guys know, check the meal prep with the air fry recipe. It's so good. What'd you say, Ma? Animal print knife. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Um, I actually got them from QVC. Oh. I have every knife. Online is shopping? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Ways and Art brand. Like from the infomercials? No, like from the website. I don't have time to sit around and watch shopping on television. <laughs> Tell them we got moved. It's good. Yep, RV's in place. Finally in the spot. So. You almost puked, huh? Yep. I yes. showed them how tight it was. To yeah, the... it's so tight. <laughs> There's hardly any. I was, pa any room. I was pacing around the backyard. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't let her get too close and look. Right, yep, babe? So now that's in. In its place now we're gonna get started on working on it tomorrow we're going back to work to get some rest <laughs> <laughs> yep. that's truly I how to get back feels. to work where I can rest oh, it was a lot of work yeah I just, can't even explain how so hard it was outside it was mostly the digging back and forth back and forth digging fences yeah we had to dig up the gate so. day to day like twice in a row three times in a row we were digging fences I feel like I've taken and removed that gate like six times Oh, there's the chicken. Perfectly air fried. Here's the potatoes and the zucchini. Looks so good. You guys ready to eat? Potatoes are good. They are. Put some parm on them. Why is this one all white? 